Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's have a look at colored marker shortcuts. All right, this is gonna be a quick one, but I think it might be useful to folks out there who like to use different kinds of markers, and you can add markers in Premiere Pro, and you've added them for years. The default shortcut for adding a marker is the letter M. You just hit the M key, and it adds a marker. What, what I don't like is the choice of color. You can't change the marker colors, and the, and the, the typical uh, colored marker is green, and not, not a good green, like a really boring, ugly green. So I want to add red, blue, and yellow markers, and I'm going to uh, assign them to the keyboard shortcuts one, two, and three. Not shift one, two, or three, or anything else, just the number one, the number two, number three. I'm also going to open up the markers panel. I'm using the Essentials workspace. I wanna set this up so I can see them while I add them. So let's do that first. So this is the Essentials workspace, and one of the things it does is it just uses the Essentials, which, uh, you can save your own uh, workspace, but the one thing that is missing is markers. So in the window menu, if I go to markers, then they'll show up in this long list over here. This is my timeline. I'm going to add some markers to this timeline. Of course, if you hit M, you add a marker, which is that green, which I don't like. So let's just delete that and change that. We've got all these other colors in here, this nice red, a nice yellow, a nice blue. So in the edit menu on Windows, the Premiere Pro menu on the Mac, keyboard shortcuts, and we'll just search down here for markers. Scroll down a little bit and, oh, marker. Scroll down a little bit and you'll see there they are. Add blue, add cyan, green, magenta, orange, red, white, yellow. So I want red to be number one. So click over here. There's no keyboard shortcut assigned to it. Um, you'll get a warning when you add one that it's already being spoken for, for camera angles. If, if you use camera angles, then pick something else. I don't, so I'm using one, two, three. So red is one, blue is two, and yellow is three. You can save these keyboard shortcuts uh, in case things get reset. But I'm gonna click OK and keep those keyboard shortcuts. You might wanna save them because sometimes in resetting Premiere Pro, it removes all your custom shortcuts. So if you save those, then at least you can load them back. So are you ready? One, two, and three. Watch this, so beautiful. One, nice, beautiful red. Two, nice, beautiful blue, three, yellow. And of course, just like the M key, if you tap the same key twice, three, three, it brings up the marker so I can um, maybe check lighting. And if you drag over here, then you can get a duration while you're doing that. Click OK, and now we've got a nice duration here for that marker. And our markers panel is here so we can easily see those and get to them. So if you want, like I said, you can set those. Um, and if we open this up, you know, if you want, there's also a white, there's an orange, um, and you can't change those colors, but at least you can set to all of them. So. Uh, I know some people count on, uh, on markers all the time and they use them quite extensively, but maybe you've been uh, sick of that boring one, but uh, pretty easy and not something that, that uh, is uh, out in the open. You know, it, it's not really obvious that you can set these different color markers and you'll never have to look at those ugly green markers again. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more, you can do that on videorevealed.com shop. And uh, there you can support us 
donate once, monthly, uh, any amount you want. Lots of free stuff to download. There's a member section. Thanks to everyone that does support us here. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to root around in the keyboard shortcuts and find things that you might have missed. <laughs>